and was down before it was dislodged. With tempo, they quickly snap it. And Ely doesn't find much at all. That was very close on that first play. Fourth down, straight ahead, and met in the backfield. A turnover on down to start the game. Aaron Brule knifing in. See the right side of the offensive line collapse. And Brule come right around the edge and make the play in the backfield. There's two defenders in the gap on the backside. It's a fantastic play. Second and two. Al Bell's died down with their team out offense. Out of the backfield is Dylan Johnson, and that'll be a first down. At the 21-yard line, Smith made the tackle. The best pass rusher for the Rebels. Third down and 12. Rogers gonna check underneath to Johnson. Johnson is going to be ripped down by Chance Campbell, who is fourth in the SEC at 8.1 tackles per game. He had his struggles with speed rushers. Nolan McCord comes on to attempt the field goal to start the night. And he nails it. He's eight of 13 on the year now. Analytics game that Lane plays, he's not afraid to go for it at any point on the field, depending on how far they have to go. Most in the power five for going for it on fourth down. Drummond, look at this. Just gliding past midfield. Dontario Drummond. And athleticism advantages they have. Second and four. Looks to Drummond to the other side now. And they found a little something swinging Dontario Drummond around in that orbit motion in the backfield. And kicker. Not in action tonight. Third down and five. Matt Corral trying to slither his way for a first down. And he does. The thing splits out of that bunch formation. Corral on third and goal. Trying to split defenders and then is taken down at the line of scrimmage. Randy Charlton was the first to get to him. It's the starting assignment tonight. His first field goal attempt. And he puts it through. So good for Kale Nation, who steps in for Caden Costa. Complete throws, perfect throws against tight coverage. Here he is on first down, plenty of time. Protection has been much better in recent weeks, too. Makai Pohl. Katie. Short pitch, and it will be a first down for Mississippi State. Third and five, inside screen, able to keep his footing is Makai Polk for a Bulldogs first down. And it certainly struggled throughout 2020. Second and six, downfield strike, it's going to be first and goal as Rodgers connects with Austin Williams. They send pressure and they get him. Mark Robinson with the sack of Will Rogers. Ford made from 34 earlier. This from 29. And with that, Mississippi State goes up 6-3. to three. They drop eight against Rodgers in this air raid. And going underneath the coverage for a first down, he is able to connect. First and five after the penalty. Johnson going to go to the other side. Made the first man miss. And he's just short of that line to gain. K.D. Hill with the tackle. Make a guy miss, and they're out the gate. Third and one, and it'll be a first down. Yeah. Will Rogers in stride. Back shoulder to Makai Polk. How about the throw, low and away for Polk, who does a great job on the body control, getting his hands underneath it on the back shoulder. Cordy's made from 34 and 29. And this stays to the right. Matt Corral, they ran a stunt, and he's able to get it over the middle. Flag is down as he connected with Jonathan Mingo. Her Corral tries to spin out of it, throws it as he's going down. Nathaniel Watson was draped all over him. Yeah. And you can see the black line, that's the initial line of scrimmage. Does the ball get back to the line of scrimmage? When you throw it away, 
It has to get beyond the line of scrimmage, and it does not. It's two yards short. Second and 22. What a dart by Matt Corral. Braylon Sanders with the reception. Second and seven. Quick to the outside, Drummond. Drummond utilizing blocks and is inside the 40 and then spins for even more. Fresh legs back out there for the defense. Showing A-gap pressure. They come off of it and look at that scene for Snoop Connor. And it's a first down Ole Miss. From a yard out. And powering his way in is Snoop Connor. 25th rushing touchdown of his career. And with that, Ole Miss is out in front. Rodgers steps up in the pocket, drives it ahead, and gets it complete. Second down. Rodgers going downfield again and up and coming down with it is Malik Heath. He has bounced back the last two games, and he comes up big here. What an unbelievable play by Tulu Griffin on the back shoulder. Prince can't. Reel it free. We're going to identify him as Tulu Griffin, the speedy receiver, and he goes back to him here. So Ladetrick Tulu Griffin making his presence felt. Out of the backfield is Marks. Woody Marks. And it'll be first and goal, Mississippi State. Rodgers to the end zone, should have been a touchdown. Tulu Griffin, who did such a great job on this drive, had one right in his hands. Late throw, underthrown fade, and Tulu Griffin just can't reel it in. From 33. And he kept it right down that same alley that he just missed on. Kept it right. You can see the disappointment in Nolan McCord. Walk-on who stepped in, kicked early on this season when Brandon Rees wasn't available. Leach turned to him again in recent weeks. Rees had the job, had some inconsistencies. And Mike Leach, that kind of reaction. Rodgers on third and five. This is Johnson. Took time to bobble it and then just gets run down. Miles Battle was the first to get to him. Here, He rarely makes him here in, as a fourth-year player. Quickly gets it out into space. And with a stiff arm, Dontario Drummond will get it out to the 32-yard line. Adjusted as teams have tried to play that defense against him this year. Ely finding a seam, and Ely goes ahead with Ely. And he'll get it to Drummond, who is able to turn the corner. And look at Dontario Drummond just gliding downfield. Corral's going to run it himself. Quarterback draw. He's got room inside the 10 and tries to get to that goal line. But he'll be marked down at about the one-yard line. First and goal, Ole Miss. And half. Connor, straight ahead and straight in. Third and ten. They drop eight. Had a switch hands, and then he is sacked by Sam Williams, one of the best in the country at taking down the opposing quarterback. That's 11 and a half sacks on the year for Sam. Fourth down and seven for Rodgers at Mississippi State. And he is brought down Sam I am. Williams does it again, his second sack of the night. Connor motions back in behind Corral. And then they go on the slant for the first down to Drummond. First down, Rebels. Fourth down. Ole Miss fourth and four. Corral looks to Ely. Blockers in front to the edge, and it's a first down, Rebels. Third and two. 
And going ahead for the first down. Corral looking to run, spins his way in. Fourth and five. down. That was Chance Campbell getting up and rejecting it on fourth down. Nice. First down this time upended is Jonathan Mingo. Corral on third and seven. That ball is intercepted. Jeff Johnson with a blocker in front. And the linebacker from Tupelo. I Jet Johnson, look at him, he carries number two. That's the guy inside, and then he breaks on number one. That's the guy coming out underneath. Second down to the end zone. Touchdown, Mississippi State, Jaden Wally. And now the shift for the potential Onside kick. Let's see if it goes to 10 yards. It is fielded. It's a loose ball. And it looks like Ole Miss jumps on it. Going north and south. And that's exactly what he does. And with that pad leverage, he is able to get the first down to the 30-yard line. So Corral looks left, looks right, downfield to the end zone. And overthrows Drummond, but a flag is down right at the goal line. Colin Duncan, Pass who had coverage. Defense number 19. And the P.I. call. And there was a lot of contact. Ball was a little high. But it, right there, I mean, Colin needs to turn around and try to make a play. As you can see, he's clearly draped on the wide receiver. That's a good call from the official. And this is offense. And signature Lane Kiffin, fist pump, Zach Arnett, the look of concern, and that does it with Ely. Dagger in Starkville. It just depends on whether or not they would jump Cincinnati, who is clearly in the driver's seat right now. But it's a close game against the best team in the country. There's going to be a lot of debates to be had. When we have that conversation of the best team. Well, I still think your conversation you brought up as Marks takes it ahead for the first down. Up. Under three minutes to play in fourth down here. And Woody Marks will have the first down. Trying to shake his way for more. And he does so to the 11-yard line. At all. And you see the effect it has on the opposing offense. Marks into the end zone. Still fighting to the end is Woody Marks and the Bulldog team. Watermelons hit or double pops it as they shift over to the right. Gets the second hop the way you want it, but it is recovered by Sanders as the hands team. It's played very well in the fourth quarter in each of the last three games. Fourth down and two to close it out. Ely tripped up, going to have a turnover on downs comes to the officiating. I thought Bryce Young's response was sensational. Don't worry about the officials. Go out there and play some ball. Dylan Johnson as he makes his way past midfield. And Rogers just slings it underneath to Johnson. Johnson with a win against the sixth team that'd be bowl eligible. Rogers as he goes inside the 20 seconds here of this game. And that'll stop the clock with four seconds remaining as he connects with Austin Williams. You get to see them tomorrow on ABC. And then Bedlam Saturday. Rodgers. And that will be the final play. And Ole Miss on the road, a 31 to 21 winner in the Egg Bowl. 94th battle of the Golden Egg.